Hello, my name is Joachim and I am one of the teacher's assistants in this course and I thought I would do a quick walkthrough of Discord and the Discord server. As there are a couple of hundred students in this course, I'm sure many of you have used Discord before, but there will be at least some of you that haven't. So first I will be going over a few basic functions and features of Discord to help you navigate the server and use Discord to its fullest and then I will be giving a brief overview of the different channels on the server and their intended use and also how we use Discord in this course. So this is what it might look like once you get onto the server. Uh, you have your channels here to the left and you have your chat feed here to your right. And the first thing actually that you want to do when you get onto the server is go to this channel right here, onboarding role, and write down your student acronym. Uh, that way you can get your student role on the server so when the teachers have announcements to make for instance they can tag all students using this role and all students will be notified but if you don't have that role you might miss out on important information and uh, super necessary doing that and discord is a chat program in essence so pretty much all your usual chat features are here as well so if you hover over messages like this you can see a couple of buttons and here you can for instance react to a message and speaking of we encourage uh, everyone <laughs> to react to messages especially announcements and teachers assistance answers because uh, this will let us know that you've actually read uh, the post so please uh, react to messages and uh, you can reply to messages with this button right here and when you reply to someone, they will be notified. Uh, so that's useful to know. Also, this button right here uh, is for creating threads. And we encourage people to uh, make use of threads instead of just uh, chatting in the general channels. Because uh, when creating a thread, for instance like this, uh, it will be easier to follow an ongoing discussion. And the channels won't be as cluttered. So please use threads when discussing things that might take more than one answer. And uh, uh, here you have a button for uh, member list. And this is the one right here. And these are all um, people that are online on the server. Uh, so that's also useful to know. Uh, to the left of that, you have pinned messages. And pinned messages uh, are usually very important messages but they eventually get lost in the feed like all other messages so to find them you can click on this button right here and you will see all pinned messages in that particular channel in chronological order so for instance in general if i go to pinned messages again i can see all the pinned messages that has been posted in the channel so that's useful to know this is especially useful in this channel right here course announcements this is where Frederick will be posting uh, announcements that apply to all of you. Uh, so it's important to keep an eye out on this channel and also be sure to check the pinned messages. Uh, you can also tag people like this. So if you have a, a question for a specific person, you can do it like that and that person will be notified. And there is a search function on Discord, which is quite handy. So if, for instance, you just search like this, you will get search results from all channels on the server. But there are a couple of search options. You can see them right now because they're blurred. But say, for instance, that you want to search the general channel. You can do it like this. And uh, then you will only get search results from that particular channel. Uh, quite handy to know. And new for this year uh, are actually forums. Let's see if we can find a forum right here. Uh, this is where you will be posting your uh, questions about issues you might be having. So say, for instance, uh, that you have an issue installing your firmware uh, on your microcontroller. You can create a new post in the forum. And when you do this, there is a template right here that you can follow so you can supply uh, screenshots, uh, the code, um, what you've tried, uh, what you need help with, and things like that. This will make it easier, easy for us to help out, uh, as we can pretty much replicate your problem. And other students can search the forums, and then they can see 
the answers if it has been resolved. So please use the forums. Uh, other than that, uh, there are a bunch of uh, different channels. It's, it's quite a big server. But in terms of naming, uh, all channels are pretty much self-explanatory. And uh, the two most overused channels in my experience are the general and questions and answers. Uh, and these channels are basic. The general channel is basically for questions regarding the course itself. Say, for instance, you have an issue with LADAC or a quiz or something like that, you can post it here. Same goes for questions and answers. Uh, if you have a question, but you're unsure where to post it, it doesn't really fit in any other channel, you can post your question in questions and answers. Uh, other than that, there are mm, channels for pretty much anything you can think of. So uh, be sure to check them all out uh, and get a hang of the server and uh, what channels there are and things like that. Also, when we have workshops, we're using these channels right here. They are voice channels. So if you jump in one of these right here, you will be joining. Uh, the first time you won't be joining, be joining muted, but you can mute and unmute yourself like this. You can also share your screen and turn on your camera and things like that. Um, be sure though, uh, once you want to leave the workshop, uh, be sure to disconnect from the call so you don't linger around in the channel after you left. You can do it right here. And also during workshops, we will split up into groups depending on operating systems of the students. So we will be splitting around in these um, channels right here. Also, uh, the Get Help channels is pretty much for one-on-one -on -one or one-on-many, if you will, uh, tutoring. So if you need help, uh, you can jump into one of these channels and a teacher's assistant will jump in and help you out. And that is pretty much it. Uh, also, uh, if you posted a question but you haven't gotten an answer in a while, uh, don't be afraid to post <laughs> another question. Um, just do it again and uh, eventually it will be answered. And uh, also, once more, uh, make use of threads like this. Uh, so uh, the channels won't be so cluttered. And uh, with that, um, I wish you all luck, and I hope you have a great course. Goodbye.